In this video, we will convert a Photoshop template to a web page in both Go Live and Dreamweaver. So let's open up our um, template. Notice we have here everything in layers. Uh, we, we have different layers. here and you'll see all the layers stacked up uh, we you, you need to make the decision are you going to have the background as the whole background or are you just going to have it as the table and in this one I'm going to do it as the table as probably most of you will will need to do uh, the first thing I'm going to do is save my background so this obviously says background uh, we're going to keep his name on there. We're going to keep uh, the little design thing and the design thing here on there. And the links, we're going to need to put those on separately as images. So we'll save this, uh, making sure a good size to have it is probably about eight and a half. You don't, you don't want it too small or too big. 72 pixels. And so let's say for web and web devices, I'm going to choose it as a GIF. You can do it JPEG or GIF depending on if it's solid color or if it's more of a photo. I see here that he's got slices in there. So we want to make sure that there are no slices. We'll clear the slices. Uh, there are no guides, so now we can proceed on. So let's save it for web and web devices as a GIF. And also, um, you want to save everything in a folder. I made a folder here, and I called it web. I wouldn't probably want to call it your name. You could do that, but I'm just going to call it web because I'm going to take everything that we have in there and dump it into uh, Wyatt's folder on the server. So this is our background. Let's call it background. And we'll save that in our uh, web folder with all of our images. Make sure it's images only. And also, we want to save all of our buttons. So let's take all of our buttons, starting with index, isolate those, and also save those as GIFs. And I like to call them um, B, just so people know what they are. Once again, images. You can step back, and you do that for all of your um, buttons. So that for each button, you have a separate image. And you'll just keep doing that until you have all of your uh, buttons saved for Illustrator, uh, InDesign, and the final. So once we've done that, we'll go back to our um, folder. And you'll notice here, here we have all of our buttons. We've got our index button. We've got our Photoshop button. We'll have an InDesign button. Uh, Illustrator button. All of these are our buttons. 
and we'll also have a background. Oops. Um, right here. So now we can open up our browser, or our um, either Dreamweaver or Go Live, depending on which one you have on your computer. And we'll open that up. Uh, we'll do a new page. And this is the title as you see it. So this is our index. Click down here. And I'm going to want to drag that here. Uh, I'll put it in the middle by clicking the alignment. And for this particular one, um, let's, let's take a look at it and see what we need here. And it looks like we've got two columns, basically, to start. And then we're going to put another table here with five rows. So let's do that. Let's do two columns for our first table. One row. 23, 2. And no borders. And maybe give ourselves a little bit of space here. So there we go. There's our first one. Now, in order to pull it down, you're going to need to convert it to pixels. And we'll pull this thing down. And across. And now on this side, we're going to take another one. and make this one into a two make sure this also is able to be resized make this into a six row one column, zero border, and I like 12, I don't know why, for space. It seems to be the right size. And for this now, we always need to change these suckers here uh, for all of these, actually. Let's change it for the whole, especially this one. Height needs to be pixel. And Let's take this one down. And now we're going to be putting our buttons in here. So let's take our first button, uh, our index button. Stick it in there. Photoshop button. Illustrator button, you get the idea, InDesign, and Final. Now this is exactly the same in Dreamweaver. You just take those buttons and you drop them in there and they'll show up in the appropriate spot. Um, now here, here are some of the differences. We'll take here, and for this one, to put the uh, background, and we had the background image that we're going to use. And we will go to the um, big image for the uh, table. 
and it's just simply uh, typing here background and it was a gif and we have to save it in our folder index.html and lo and behold poof it just drops there okay uh, for the background we'll select our properties here by double clicking it and we'll make it a black background and there you go now we're going to need links so since we're on the index page, we don't really need a link for that one, but we do need a link for Photoshop. If you look in the inspector, you'll see basic. This is our source image, and that was that GIF. But in order to make a link, we have to click on link, and let's do that. Let's call it Photoshop, and we want to link to the HTML file and hit return. Same thing here for the link. Make sure it's in link. Um, and make sure everything is spelled correctly. All the way down. And this is why you have to be careful of what you call your pages. You have to call them InDesign Photoshop Illustrator, just like you're typing, or else it's not going to work, because these are just pointing to these pages as your link. And also, they have to be in the exact same folder. So that is our template, right? Let me show you how you do that in Dreamweaver. So let's get rid of our um, our background. And the stuff that we've done. How many things can we get rid of without it? There we go. And this is back to the place where we were. Let's actually quit that. And now let's do one in Dreamweaver. HTML. Here we go. The title's up here. Uh, it's a little bit different. This time we click on the table. The table's in common. We'll just click on that. And remember what we had um, one row two columns, zero border, and 12 here. There we go. Now for this, we have to go to the properties palette and select center. And that's going to put us in the center. Um, these we can also drag around like this. Etc. 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 And remember, we had another one up here. And so remember, we click here, and we had six rows, one column, and cell spacing twelve. Same deal. It's actually very very similar. Now this one, let's put our. Um, drag and drop again, same as before, all of our buttons, our index, oops, this will actually warn us that we have to do, let's start over and just save it, make sure it's saved to the right space, remember we're calling it index, on HTML, 
let's start dragging those over. Uh, index button. The Photoshop. Illustrator. And in design. And file. And I left one on the bottom um, so that it would give us a little bit of space on the bottom because that's the way the design was. See, so we can make that kind of higher there. Um, Let's drag this out. So you can see what we're doing here. Same thing. Uh, put your background in. It's a little bit different with this. Uh, you go to your window. You go to your tag inspector. Make sure your list view is selected. And in background, you type the name of it. I remember it was a GIF. And we hit return and, oops, wrong thing. We want to select the whole table, don't we? There we go. Let's try that one, one again. And background. Resize it until we get to the right size. And there we go. Oh, not so wide, right? That's about right. Okay, now for this to do the index or the um, links. It's the properties again. You'll see here's the source, and the link is going to be Photoshop. Hit return. Uh, put zero border unless you like a blue border. Can't imagine you would, but you never know. Uh, same thing here. Zero border. Design. And zero border. And our final. No border. There you go. It's that easy. Uh, for the background, let's click outside of the table and it's page properties this time. And the background is black. Easy. Okay. And there you go. It's that easy. Now we have our template here. Let, let's save that. And let's duplicate it. Open up go live while we're waiting. Let's uh, duplicate our index file, duplicate, and that is our Photoshop file. And then we can do the same thing with Illustrator, Photoshop.html. Let's open that up and go live. And we're back and go live. 
Funny thing is, it's all they're all HTML documents. You can do them in either one, um, no problem. So we're going to put all of our um, images. Remember, you drag it here, and I don't, I don't want any um, border on this thing. So do zero border. Let's do a little bit of a spacing there. Oops, not quite 92, uh, maybe 12 would be good. And it's just a matter of dumping those in there. Photoshop one, click on that. Here's basic and here's a link, just like we did with the links. But you want to call this one PS1, and that's a JPEG. Right? Same thing here. PS2, that's your thumb. I took just took the images, the big images, and made those smaller. The thumbs are just an inch at the widest spot. They're the same as the others, they're just small. Okay, the link, PS2. Etc. 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 Until you get them all. Okay. Um, so to do the same thing, remember we're duplicating. Go index. Oops. Take our index and duplicate it. Oops. Pretty touchy. Duplicate our index without opening it up. And call it Photoshop. Actually, going to open it up in Dreamweaver this time. And so now we want to drag our thing over here. Actually, just click here. And uh, three by three, I believe, is what we were doing. Zero border, right line, there we go. And there you go, and drop those in there, just like the other one. And PS1 thumb. PS2 thumb. Three thumb, etc., etc., etc. This time, we'll click here. The link is in the properties, and we'll put ps one dot jpeg. Click there, and ps two. Save those. Oh, border zero, remember. Zero. Silly thing here. And a zero border. Unless you like that blue border. Or whatever. You can make a different color. Um, we'll save this. And really, you do the same thing with Illustrator. Right? You just open up you just duplicate the Photoshop one and change it into an Illustrator. It's that easy. So let's do that. And the 
this open now, went up now. Go live. I don't think we need to do both in Dreamweaver because you guys more or less get the idea. Um, let's make just one thumbnail in Illustrator so you can see how to how to do that. So I'll take this one, change it to um, one inch at the biggest part. Make sure that the uh, constraint proportions is there. And then we'll save that one. Save for web and web devices. And we'll save it in our folder and call it thumb. We'll make sure that when you um, quit that, you put don't save or else you're going to right over your uh, original. So here we have this one. And you know what? Here's the neat part about HTML. You select this. And I bet if we type here ILL -L, and then we put GIF here. That will change to that. Don't forget to change your link. sure that oops that those things exist here yeah there we are and this one doesn't exist yet so get rid of that and save that one oh I'm going to call it illustrator the title and save it and let's see if those work hopefully they work go into here uh, I would suggest always testing everything I'm going to open it up in Firefox because that's what I've got and we'll click on Photoshop link and we know those work again okay well, let's see if illustrator works go to illustrator click on our link and ta-da it all works and so that's how you convert your template into a web page in go live and dreamweaver